There's a horrific story out of Brazil about a nine-year-old Catholic girl who was raped by her stepfather and then excommunicated from the church. The rapist was allowed to stay in the church, Lewis. No problem wow. there. Wow. All right. The accusation from the church was life must always be protected. That was a senior Vatican cleric who defended the church's decision to excommunicate the mother and doctors of this nine-year-old rape victim who had a life-saving abortion in Brazil. Remember, in Brazil, abortion uh, laws are pretty strict, okay? And only in cases of uh, uh, rape, incest, medical emergency are abortions even on the table, okay? And still the church saying, you know, um, those children that she had uh, was pregnant with twins, those children had the right to live and they could not be eliminated. And uh, those are innocent persons. Life must always be protected. Now, the police believe that the girl was sexually assaulted for years by her stepfather, possibly since she was, uh, possibly since she was as young as six years old. I mean, this is a despicable situation. She's the one who needs to leave the church. The rapist didn't do something as bad. At least he didn't kill anybody, right? Right. I mean, this is, uh, of course, this isn't the case of uh, someone in the church committing a crime like this. Um, so I'm not going to say this is the most despicable thing church side that has happened. No. But uh, Well, but, but Lewis, it it's continues this idea that the church thinks child abuse isn't as serious as a medically necessary abortion. Right. Which is not new. That's exactly what we've been right. saying for because years. Because any, any violent act uh, that happens is God's plan, right? I guess it must be. It was, God's, it was God's plan for that, for that girl the, to The be abuse pregnant. must have been God's plan. The pregnancy must have been God's plan. Mass but pedophilia must be God's plan. Under abortion that isn't God's plan. Under that logic, though, wouldn't abortion also be part of God's plan? I mean, people created by God and, and their brain and thought processes created by God Right. Developed abortion, abortion is the only time people are actually choosing their actions. Right, right yeah. Free will that, doesn't that, exist. That except makes sense. when it comes to abortion. Right. Yeah. It's really sickening. And, and you know, it, I'm almost numb to the Catholic Church's in, incipient uh, uh, support, implicit support, of bigotry via gay marriage, pedophilia by not looking into and or not prosecuting and or covering up child abuse within the church. I feel like the stories don't even get through to a lot of people because people are just so numb. This is what the Catholic Church does around the world. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's such a massive organization. What, what do you do about it? I mean, the, the Church runs its own investigations, and those investigations are why the information got leaked. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It, it really is. And uh, when, when is the Catholic Church going to lose tax-exempt status? That's really the, the, the only remaining question. And when are we going to see... Uh, well, the year we've talked about this before. Once, once the Catholic Church loses that, so do all other religious organizations. When will we see Catholic Church officials being paraded into court in in uh, arm and leg shackles? I mean, when? I don't know. Maybe never. Hopefully soon. There you go.